my name is Bailey and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be starting a vlog. I think it's going to be a weekend vlog because it's Friday. Today I'm so out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. That's sad. <laughs> but yeah, weekend vlog. It's Friday. Let's go. Um, I'm going to talk about what I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading The Best Lies by somebody. I don't have the cover. Let me go get it. This is the cover of this book. This was definitely a cover buy for me because I think this cover is beautiful. So yeah, I'm currently reading the best. I'm currently reading the best lies by Sarah Liu. I think that's how you say that, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, it's like a mystery sort of a thing. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not usually a mystery person. Like I don't pick them up very often, but yeah, that's like my first mystery I've ever like fully. I'm committing to read, so really liking it. I wanted to talk about something before I get into something else. So I actually just filmed the makeup and books tag. That's why I have like a full face of makeup on. So yeah, that should be up soon. I'll link it wherever. <laughs> but okay, I want to shout this person out because they just made a video. It was a booktuber shout out video and they mentioned me and it made my day. Heart fluttered, big smile. And that is Lamorta Books. Um, I'll link them down below. They're just so sweet and really flattered me when I watched their video where they did booktuber shoutouts and I was one of them. Really made me feel good. So thank you, girl. And you should definitely subscribe to her if you have not. So yeah, that was something I wanted to say. I'm planning on reorganizing my bookshelf in a second because it's a mess and I've kind of been organizing my room and my bathroom these days because you know it's summer and I have nothing to do so yeah that's kind of what's up fun fact though yesterday I was cleaning my bathroom and it was nighttime because I'm a night owl I do everything at night for some reason and so I closed the bathroom door and I had sprayed in the tub cleaner and then I was scrubbing the tub to make it like clean whatever and I think I got contact high off of the tub cleaner like my lungs were burning my eyes were burning because you're supposed to open a window i didn't do that so yeah i got kind of sick from that so uh learn from my mistakes and don't do that um but yeah i'm gonna clean my bookshelf so i'll like i don't know probably speed it up or something when i end up doing that but yeah welcome to the vlog let's go hello so here we are it's there so we're gonna organize it because if you look at it I mean you can't really see it from this far away because kind of looks fine from here because you can't really see anything but it's disorganized and it's bad so I'm going to organize it yeah yeah or at least I'm gonna try because I also get really bored really quickly so let's um let's go this is gonna be the angle you're at so hope you enjoy it <laughs> When you're cleaning, you find things that you don't remember, but like throwback here to James Dashner, because I read The Maze Runner and then I read this book. I uh, never finished this series, but I really liked this book for some reason. I don't really know why, but yeah, I just found it. And I remember that like James Dashner kind of like fell off after he did The Maze Runner in this series. Like nobody really read this series. And after The Maze Runner, everyone was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, it's funny how some authors have, like, you know, their big break with their great book and then you never hear from them again. I don't know, throwback. This light is so aggressive, but like my actual light, um, doesn't have any bulbs and it hasn't had bulbs for a few days. So I'm in the dark, 
once it's like, I don't know, nine. I'm just, it's darkness. So I have a lamp that's like really aggressively shining on me right now. Hi. So as you can see, I clean like <laughs> the first, I'll say four, the, the four top shelves. Um, and then the books that I couldn't fit, I just jammed up at the top <laughs> because I don't have enough shelf space. I need to get a new bookshelf, or not a new one, sorry, another one. Um, but not like a full-size one because I don't have any space for that. But, um, like, either a half-size one or one of those, like, trendy TBR cards because I have no space for a massive bookshelf. And that toppling tower, every time I walk past my bookshelf, if I even, like, lightly nudge it accidentally... I have to like duck and roll because books will start just like flying off the top of it. So that's not good. Um, yeah, I haven't eaten anything really today and I'm really hungry, but we don't have anything in the house right now. So I'm like sad. Um, you know, the more and more, I think my lips are really light right now for some reason. The more and more I look at this makeup look that I did earlier for the makeup and books tag, the more I like it. I don't know, but yeah, let's do like our affirmations here. I am a young and powerful woman. <laughs> I'm wearing cat socks. I really like them. Like a good yoga pants with some cat socks and a big oversized like hoodie moment. It's a good time. Uh, as you can tell, it's summer and I'm not doing anything. But I did actually apply for a job the other day. Uh, first ever job application sent in, so look at me taking responsibility um yeah you know i was writing my resume and it's just so annoying because you need three references typically to put on a resume but okay this is like i'm gonna talk about minecraft because i'm lame but in minecraft to get an axe you need wood but to get wood you need an axe you know they're kind of like a you know you need one to get the other but <laughs> that's sort of a a conundrum there so a resume is similar to me because you need three references to put on a resume. But to get references and experience to put on your resume, you need to get a job. But to get a job, you need a resume. <laughs> and it was so annoying. I was just like so pissed about this. Cause I'm like, Ugh. like I have had like jobs done because I do coach or assistant coach skating um, through like September to June. So I can put that on and then I've babysat and like such like that so I have like a few like weird experiences experience stuff but I'm like it just pisses me off because I'm like to get a job I need to have other jobs but <laughs> it's really annoying it just pee with me for a second but yeah I apply for a job take a responsibility we're growing up <laughs> I've been cleaning a lot like I mentioned earlier and so I'm really like digging my clean space <laughs> my room is clean my soul is clean my chakras are aligned <laughs> uh Ava's actually coming over tomorrow I'll probably vlog a bit with her so I'm really excited for that because we haven't seen each other this whole summer so far which has been like a month but <laughs> yeah and I'm just like so bored and lonely <laughs> I've been just interacting with like my mom and the pizza lady <laughs> and my brother and my dogs so I'm ready to have contact with someone who's not related to me and who's not bringing me pizza so yeah <laughs> I should probably read, but I'm not right now <laughs> because I don't know. I should probably start doing that. I think I'm eating soon. So maybe I'll eat and then read. I'm a night owl, so I stay up anyway. So we'll see what happens in the depths of the night. <laughs> this light is still aggressive and you know, there's nothing we can really do about it. I just washed my hair and so it's a mess, but it's fine. So basically, I just realized that I kept saying it was Friday yesterday, but it was actually Thursday, so whoops on my part. Uh, but today is Friday, and I just hung out with Ava. I didn't really feel anything with her because, you know, time flies and you're having fun. <laughs> uh, we went to the bookstore together, and I'm not going to show you the book I got because I'm doing a haul soon. But I did get this notebook that says she believed she could, but she was tired, so she didn't. I just identified with it. It was cute. It's got these sprayed edges. And I've been looking for a journal to use as, like, a reading journal. Um, cause like, I can't bullet journal, I'm not like artsy or creative, so I'm like, you know, just a journal to be able to write down what I read every month and, you know, my thoughts on it, you know what I mean? So I thought this would work really nicely, it's not too big, it's not too small, so I was going to set that up right now, 
gonna watch some YouTube, set that up. Just wanted to give you a nice little update. <laughs> Hello, it's update time. I guess this really bad lighting from my lamp is just gonna be like the theme of this vlog. Because I've been sitting on my desk a lot and that seems to be when I get inspired to film a clip. So, I actually have reading things to talk to you about, so let me, let me get my props. I read a book. So, I read Down Among the Sticks and Bones on my iPad by Shauna McGuire. It's the second technical book in the Wayward, 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 Wayward Children series. And so, um... It was like, okay, so I was just searching Libby, like I do sometimes, and I searched up Shami Maguire because I, I always hear people talk about the Wayward Children series, and basically, the first book, Every Heart a Doorway, I placed a hold on, but it's supposed to take, like, four, no, 22 weeks before uh, it's available for me, so that's great, but Down Among the Sticks and Bones was available right away, so I borrowed it, um... And I was expecting to really love it because I know that it's some people's um, favorite book in the series. And I really didn't love it. I didn't hate it either. Like, here's the thing. I went in with really high expectations, really expecting this to be like something I love because it has a female female romance. It's a really short, like little mystical thing. And then I just disappointed me. <laughs> I gave it three stars. Did I, said that? Did I say that? I gave it three stars. So basically, it's like Jack and Jill, those are the main characters, and if you don't know like the premise of the Wayward Children series, it's basically that in the real world, these doors sometimes open up and take kids to these magical worlds, and I don't know, like I like the character of Jack, I really like that, and I really liked how the Shauna Maguire dealt with like girl stereotypes and gender roles and such like that, but I hated the ending. Basically... I just really hated the ending and there was a certain character death that really bothered me and is upsetting me even right now <laughs> but you know you win some you lose some. I do intend to read the rest of the books in the series because I did really enjoy Shauna McGuire's writing style but this book just didn't work for me unfortunately. But we're moving on. Um. I'm going- oh my god, I forgot. I need to grab this. I'm going to start reading Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo because I'm buddy reading this with a few people and I haven't started yet and it's been like four days, so I'm behind. So I'm going to start this today. I might annotate it. I've got my pens and such to do that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to because I didn't annotate the first book, but now I kind of want to annotate this one. I love this cover. It's just the Slytherin vibes get me every time, so I'm going to start this today i hope to get at least 50 pages through that's the goal let's see if we can do it oh i forgot to mention this but when i read down among the sticks and bones on my ipad right after so on libby if you when you finish a book it like tells you how long you spent reading it and i found that really interesting i'm typically a very slow reader so it wasn't impressive so, Down Among the Sticks and Bones on my iPad was 153 pages. It took me 3 hours and 47 minutes to read. That doesn't sound good to most people because I'm really slow at reading, but I, it was really interesting to see how long it took me to read it. I, actually, I read it in one day. Well, 3 hours and 47 minutes, obviously. So I started it today and finished it today, so, you know, we're making our way through. I'm starting this now. No further ado, let's go. <laughs> I just read the prologue, which was a very large four pages. And I still hate Alina a lot. Like, I don't know if I hate her, but she annoys me. And I can tell I'm going to have a hard time with this book. And the reason being is that I hate the main couple. There was a love triangle in the first book, and I'm pretty sure it's basically done, but like it might have remnants coming into this book, but I know who she's gonna end up with, and it's already happening, and I just hate them together, and I hate him, so it's frustrating me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, okay? Hi! So, I just took a bath, and then I washed my hair, and 
I blow dried it for the first time in like weeks and I forgot how much I like it when I blow dry it because it's all soft and it looks fine a little frizzy but it looks good and so I'm having a really good hair time right now but I haven't read anything I'm just giving you a life update here I also just realized I have like four drinks here so I made myself a cup of tea because of course I got a can of ginger ale because I'm kind of sick or feeling kind of sick and I have two bottles of water because our water thing is not working and it's got dirty water that's like super salty so we don't drink that so we have to get bottled water which is bad for the environment but we kind of have no other options because we haven't fixed our water thing we will get on that but yeah I just like walked upstairs carrying all my drinks looking kind of crazy so good for me yeah, haven't read anything, but I intend to try. <laughs> this is a, it's a weird time. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who achieved their goal for today with two minutes to spare? Me. I'm on page two, uh, 52, so I actually have two pages extra than my goal. Go me. But, yeah, I was going to read up to 50 pages of this book, and I did. It's 11.58, so I mean, like, probably should sleep, but... I'm not tired, so we'll see what happens. I don't want to read anymore, <laughs> but I'm glad I accomplished that. Yeah, we're making solid progress here. My phone literally has 1% left, so if I get to film this whole clip, I'll be very impressed. That's why I'm speaking really fast. I just read a bit of Season Storm with Ava on FaceTime, and it was a good time. You know, we don't read very quickly on FaceTime together because obviously, like, we're distracted, but, like, you know, it was a good time. I think I read a solid... 17 pages so i'm like progress i'm on page 74 so i really enjoyed the last scene which was chapter four i do believe yeah chapter four was fucking great like those side characters snapped alina sucked but the side characters bomb as fuck so yeah that was a good time i'm not gonna test it with this battery right now and i'm gonna peace out bye <laughs> hello so uh, we had to drive for a while this morning, so I had to get up really early to go and get drop my dog off to go get spayed, my little Remy, my little baby girl. So, yeah, we have to pick her up soon, but before that, I'm going to end this vlog. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I've been Bailey. Bye-bye.